Hey, this is Notzer, and today we're taking a look at Akira. Akira is an attacker that was recently buffed because Akira was crap when it was first introduced with closed alpha. So this is the updated version of Akira, and hopefully it is a good enough example of, you know, the idea of this tank. Or agent, sorry. Uh, so Akira, once again, an attacker, just like... Uh, uh, Raketa, unlike that character, this is not designed in the same way. So, if you notice, it has two abilities. One ability is sort of like a 50 cal uh, that is mounted on the as a secondary gun, and it will track a target once you engage it. Now, specifically, if you activate the ability, it will not fire. You have to fire your main battery gun, to my understanding, for it to activate. And then it will shoot, and it won't shoot in like the most precise way or predictive way. It's really just like generic dot damage that's attached to the closest target. And then the other ability is a forward position smoke launching. Uh, you'll note the smoke launchers on the left and right side of the, or actually on the right side of the gun turret, there's I think 10 launchers there. And you can, of course, upgrade it as you go. Unlike Adam, this is actually an upgradable agent. So as an attacker, very fast, very nimble. Uh, but unlike the Raketi, or Raketa, this does not use some auto-loading, you know, finite amount of ammunition. Instead, what this does, it has a heat mechanic to the gun. So the gun will fire as long as it is not overheated. And when it gets overheated, it will the ammo will appear red on the top of the gun turret, like burning red. Um, and it will also cease to be able to fire. And you can see the indicator on the screen below the cursor. It's obviously in Celsius. And the bar will go up, and then when it reaches the top bar, that will cause the gun to deactivate and overheat. And for a period of, I don't think, like 15 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds, the gun will have to, or even longer actually, the gun will have to cool down so it can be uh, reused. So that's the, the gimmick of this tank. It does have repair kit. Repair kit works just fine. Uh, but the gun overheat mechanic is how you have to manage it and play it. Uh, you know, the... The benefits of this sh this ship, the benefits of this agent, is that if you find the crit location, you can follow up with multiple rounds as long as you are not overheating. And if you manage your heat, you'll note that the ammu the animation for it, and we just overcharged, we're overheated. And now we have to wait on the gun to um, cool down. Note the ammo that's sitting on the top of the turret. It is, uh, you know, basically really red and the gun was smoking. Now, if we wanted to, we could potentially fire the gun, but then we would go back into overheat mode. We want to allow the gun to further cool down so that then if we wanted to, we could do two follow-up shots potentially uh, but we're really looking for uh, crits the gimmick allows for follow-up critting very nicely and that's the goal is to try and find the most critical location of the opponent's tank and continuously fire in that position until they're dead and you know that gameplay loop feels pretty good you can eventually upgrade the heat mechanic to be more responsive to the location that you're firing or, you know, the type of, um, whether it's going for a crit or if you're going for a track damage or, in, you know, there's a lot of different upgrades available that enable this gameplay loop to function. And the deeper you get into it, maybe your crits now provide a slow inherently. So, you know, there's four or five different uh, portions of Akira that are pushing you towards, hey, I really want a crit. Uh, because it's going to slow the target, it's going to do, you know, double damage, it's going to cause this improved shot to proc, and it's it's the best way for Akira to uh, maximize the gun gameplay loop that they've built into this 
agent inherently. Which I, you know, I find that I enjoyed. Uh, initially, I was a little less impressed with it. It is on the weak side of an attacker, in my opinion. It's much closer to a fire support tank than that of an attacker. Uh, to me, an attacker is a little bit more armor than this. Although the Jaeger, which we're firing on, yeah, nice two fall. It's really satisfying. Once you figure out this loop of, I need to find the crit, find the crit. Once you find the crit, follow up. And if you don't get crit, okay, that's fine. We're just going to let the uh, gun recharge. We'll be good to go. Never having to wait on the gun to reload. It's more, it's fully reloaded and it's up to you how you want to unload it. And obviously not doing damage is less than optimal and Kent's just really strong. We really needed to get some crits on him. Friend, uh, friendly is able to finish him off and our last shot overheated us. You can obviously, you know, if, if you know he's the only guy left, you can definitely fire that last salvo into the target. Salvo, salvo. The last shell into the target that will then force you to have to overheat. All you have to do is allow the overheat to uh, come off of, uh, you know, cool down and then you'll be good to go. Good accuracy on the gun, you know, good maneuverability. It's got a lot of traits that I like. It's just a little bit softer than I would prefer. <laughs> Softness. Speaking of soft, we got taken out by a um, Leopard 2, actually. But uh, yeah, Akira. So Akira wasn't this strong initially and it wasn't as compelling to play, of course, because of that. If you don't do any crit damage, well, even if you crit, it's not gonna do any damage. So, you know, they added some buffs to it. This is a level four Akira. So it's not an impressive upgrade. Uh, the upgrades that I'm looking at as uh, I'm leveling up, there's an upgrade to add a hamstring effect to crits. There's an upgrade to adding a, a heal cooldown effect to crits. Uh, there is an upgrade that allows my repair kit to enhance my acceleration, uh, which I definitely envision. This is a tank that's supposed to relocate to another side of the map quickly or another location um, inherently against an enemy. Right there, less than optimal on our damage done. And it shows we're taking a lot of damage. If we're not getting crits, we're really not damaging optimally. It'd be better if we're playing a defender, for example. So I allow myself to repair, and we're going to try and use what we've got going for us, which is the speed. Now, this enemy defender's over here. We'll probably wait a little too long. Yeah, honestly, we're going to try and neutralize this. Teammate's going to work on him. I'm afraid that my teammate might die, so we do not allow that to happen. We actually take a round, maybe mint for our teammate, and uh, he's still alive. Good, so we'll take this, but uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm i sure there might be some upgrades for the defensiveness of this tank. Things that don't need to be upgraded. The reload of this tank. You know why? Because your reload is your heat. You need to manage your heat more than your manager reload. So it's like a completely different thought process when you're approaching it. You don't wanna just unload every time your gun is reloaded. You really want to save for the optimal moment where you contribute the most. And I need to get crits in order to do that. And as players get more uh, you know, comfortable with the way that the gun unloads, we'll be more consistent at uh, managing like the rate that you can fire for just effect versus trying to kill someone. But yeah, I think that as, a, as a, an agent, Akira is a really effective attacker at ambush and uh, critting a target out and uh, exploiting all of that. But as a as a tank that absorbs damage not very good at it not very good at all very very not good and uh yeah it should show pretty obviously that it, it just can't take the kind of damage that uh, raketa can 
I'm sure there's another tank. Um, what was it? There's like a T60 or T72 or something. Something from the um, East Germany, the Eastern People's Army. Uh, he's going to get something. So the more Soviet compact mediums that uh, have higher armor and uh, better angling of the armor for blocking, you're, you're not going to get that here. The, the armor's flat. It's got uh, a lot of overhang, so it's very glass cannon against uh, a single defensive tank. But as you can see, nothing works quite like that. And um, yeah, and this is only a level four. I just want to reiterate, I don't have any upgrades on this. So I'll get upgrades that enhance my gun damage further, it enhances my crit damage against modules, which you know, when you're creating modules, you're doing module damage. So that also in impacts the damage output. So, you know, there's a lot of things left to upgrade to that can make this deadly, um, as it should be. It should be very deadly. It doesn't have a lot of armor for it. Now, one thing that's cool. Oh, ooh, hello there. Awkward. The game server was really bugged out. It wasn't upgrading at the same rate as uh, it was playing. So it was like registering that I was lower ranks than I was before or after, you know, so. And I think this would replay actually probably, yeah, I think it was when I was ranked two. So I was even weaker in this example than the ones later on. Here's another one. We got Conquest on the uh, Sunstroke map. This is Conquest, so 10 versus 10, unlimited, so we can move around the map and get into a flanking position. Very good uh, tank whenever you're able to disengage and come from a different flank. This is a flanking tank. You know, if you, um, if you don't find a good target, well, we'll just drive to another location because that's pretty much what this is going to do the whole time, um, which is fun, and I think... The game is fun to drive around in, so yeah, I think Akira, it's got some pretty coolness to it. I think the heating can be something that can be stressful for players um, because it can be a little bit challenging to manage it, at, at least initially, because it doesn't work like anything else. For example, Ray. Ray does not have anything loaded in the gun, and it has to reload every single shot. Uh, some you know, six to 10 before it can even fire. And I don't get to hold it in the the uh, gun for the optimal time. I have to manage that reload and, and trigger it at the right moment. Whereas with Akira, the right moment might not be when your gun is reloaded. It might be when your opponent's gun isn't reloaded or you're able to flank, uh, but your gun is always technically loaded to fire. It just doesn't do a lot of damage unless you locate it on those crits. So obviously I decided to flank around these guys. It seemed like there was a lot over there. And you can just as easily just bypass the attack and turn it into maybe a back cap. So, you know, it's pretty cool like that. And I think the agent, uh, I don't, so I think they disabled the unique voiceover and I think they disabled pretty much everything about the agent other than the tank, the model, and like the, the stat sheet for it. So I don't know if I'm gonna be annoyed by the, the voiceover that they chose for it. I, I like the way the tank looks and the upgrades are fun. If you notice that it has, um, it has two storage containers for liquids, it looks like there's a blue liquid and then a red liquid. And as you're driving, the liquids move in their containers, and they're on the back half. I don't know if it's, like, gasoline and coolant, or maybe gasoline and water, maybe something like that. I don't know. Or petrol. Uh, anyway, we obviously leave disengage. I don't want to... I cannot go into a straight fight. You might feel like you're just avoiding confrontation, and, you know, maybe to some extent you are. Um... <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, but, you know, if we get uh, the back half of this guy and punish him, I mean, just look at how many times we can crit him in a row. Ah, just barely. I tell you, if you can upgrade it, I mean, remember, 
there's an upgrade that every crit, it reduces your heat built up a little bit. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that will come online that are just going to make this really strong. So we cap the base. And, of course, I see this enemy. He's pushing on my teammates, and I'm going to try and push on him. Should not have fired right there, because now, guess what? We can't fire our gun. We have, you know, overheated it once again, almost back-to-back. -back. It's just the way it goes with this guy. It's so strong that you need to wait for the most optimal opportunity you can possibly imagine. And then it even might not be as optimal, you know? So it's it's a patient play. It might not come across as that, but because you can, you know, reliably have a gun reloaded and pinpoint accurate, and eventually my gun will be doing even more damage, then it becomes, you know, how frequently do I use this power? And we, we pop our smoke. Note the smoke. A little bit more impressive than your average smoke from your typical defender. Approach the enemy attacker. He's got an advantage in this position. My... Remember, my gun... I just don't have any armor to stop this. So I really just need to get a crit on him. Find the crit location in order for me to justify that play. We do, however, have a teammate that moves forward and gets some chip damage on him too. And uh, gosh, you can see that gun depression leaves a lot to be desired, but because it, it is a low to the gun to the hull, it's not gonna be easy for you to get a lot of uh, gun depression. I mean, look at that. Just look at the way it's uh, framed, and I think we were tracked there. Uh, if you look at how squat it is in its profile it you can see why it can't depress the gun as much as other tanks that are um, you know potential options yeah we'll regroup we'll figure it out uh, they're trying to con contest D point we're gonna try and rush in and get on the sides of these guys and uh, this is a, what the heck is this this is a lot of enemies uh, we're just going to run away. <laughs> uh, die real fast. Die young. Live hard, live fast, die young. That's that's the motto of this uh, Akira. Yeah, change the tactics, all right. How about let's change the tactic of let's not drive into four of them. Yeah, at least four. There might be five. <laughs> teammates teammates are over on the back side uh, we don't have anyone in between us and uh, them though so we got uh, a little bit and I will say it's really frustrating to play with defenders that refuse to play for objectives uh, you know I understand that I'm an attacker and I'm a weak attacker, so maybe I need to invest more in my defensive potential so I can replace it a little bit more. Um, but when a defender doesn't go for objectives and instead relies on other ty uh, vehicle types to take damage, it, it becomes very frustrating because you feel like I shouldn't be the one taking all of this damage. I should be the one that comes in after and punishes the side crit. And don't get anxious. We might run out of heat. We're going to be really... Yeah. So it looks like... And now this is just me interpreting. It looks like... And I'm going to try and explain exactly what's happening. Each shot, the gun will develop heat and you can see that and it goes up each shot and then what will happen is there is a, a minimum amount of time that it'll then start to cool down when there's no shots so you'll note that it initially increases with what I would describe as a yellow and then after a period of time the yellow will transition into more of an off-white and the off-white is signaling that it's entering into a cool state, but you need to make sure, and that's a good example there, 
You need to make sure that the cool state has given enough time that it can then absorb another shot before it overheats. I did not allow that. Um, and because of that, I overheated my main gun and I cannot fire it when it is in this state. I literally cannot pull the trigger. Finally, I can actually pull the trigger and fire my gun. So it requires a lot of discipline to not just pull the trigger because it's always reloaded. And it used to be like a 2.5 second unload time. So every 2.5 seconds, then you could unload. Now it's every second. So this is a very scary tank against a, uh, a Jaeger, for example, because if I find his crit location, I can pretty much 100 to zero him. And, it, and that was not even an optimal play there. But if I was able to find his crit position, I would be able to kill him, theoretically, in the time that it takes him to reload his second follow-up. Something to think about. And I would be technically faster and potentially heavier. I don't know if it's pound for pound heavier. Uh, I'm just assuming that because it's an attacker, it will be. And ooh, we get a nice, accurate shot. Unfortunately, not enough time to kill him. We do get a defeat with that con uh, conquest map mode, but I think we did a good job for our team moving around the map, getting a decent amount of damage. I certainly appreciate what they're trying to create with the gun mechanic on this uh, agent. It's definitely unique. Now, once again, I said this with the Atom. I don't know that there's any environmental benefit to playing on an ice map for the overheat mechanic. I think it plays the same regardless of the map environment. Just want to say that before anyone's like, oh, it's freezing cold. Wouldn't the best map to play on be an ice map? Well, yeah, you would never overheat nearly because it looks like the air can be the heat sink for it, you know, theoretically, but it doesn't work like that. You actually have to upgrade the tank if you want to manage the heat more. So we're gonna take E point, which we can obviously quickly do because we're an attacker. Probably the best role that an attacker can do is the opening of a conquest map to capture control points. Just gonna chill for a second. Clearly the liquid storage is also thermal, so it won't freeze, which is, you know, good to know. You wouldn't want it to freeze, it might split the metal. It, it could just be like uh, Kool-Aid and uh, Gatorade. That's that's what it could be. It, you know, it could be something like that. Anyway, see this enemy. He decides to drive right next to us. We have a horrible time finding his crit. And I waste this opportunity. He actually forces us to take a little bit of a fire. And just embarrassing. Embarrassing for my ability to return. Like... The overheat. Now, one thing I will say, I don't n notice that uh, if I'm on fire, for example, it doesn't seem to affect the overheat of the gun. So maybe they didn't want to consider that. Thankfully, they didn't. Because that would be annoying if, for whatever reason, you were caught on fire and all of a sudden your gun was overheating at a rapid rate. But, yeah, we open there, we capture E, and then we get wiped out because we go into the open. So we're just going to drive around. C doesn't really look... This is the radar dish. I love the radar dish. Uh, C doesn't really look like it's being contested. So um, we'll drive in and potentially uh, go after it, I think. And uh, I thought for a second I might be able to drive through those barrels. But yeah, no, you can't do that. So we're just going to hide behind this big cover. Try and spy on the enemy. Keep track. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, there's a big... Ugly mother. I activate my token gun turret. They just barely are able to prevent us. Oh, hey, punch. Let's punch your ticket. Punch your ticket to hell. Find the green bits. <laughs> Get out of here. We got to cool off. Oh. That was close. Okay. So we got to reorient and come from a different direction. My gun is cooled off, though, so we should be able to punish someone quickly. 
And I really think it'll be nice when I get the upgrade. The slow upgrade's gonna help with the reposition to orient their tank defensively. The extra crit damage just will be nice because I'll be pushing more crit and obviously reducing my heating ability with crits will further encourage me to crit. So uh, can you guess what your role is? Yeah, you're supposed to crit, uh, which I love. I love any of the tanks that, well, I, I love the mechanics that they're trying to do where they're creating unique e agent experiences more than anything. They're not trying to make a whole line of this. They're trying to make one really good tank that works. Oh yeah, give me, give me all of that crit. So one more crit. Yeah, we're gonna just finish them off. Well, we're dead, but you know, we killed a guy. Oh, you did? You enjoyed seeing it? Well, I'll remember that for the birthday party. Let's try something C point. Hate you guys. They're doing a good job. Uh, now, one thing I will say. I think Akira will be weak against defenders and weak against um, numbers. It'll be really strong at finishing off low health targets. And it'll be really annoying because... You'll do the running, and the Akira will be the, doing the chasing. Uh, it can just, while it chases, cool off its gun, uh, and then it'll have optimal accuracy when it arrives. Which you'll note, you know, having really good accuracy like this really helps. Helps me be more aggressive with uh, my position. Uh, did we blow him up? No! Shouldn't have pushed there. Shouldn't have pushed there. You'll die so fast in this, though. You really are. You'll just die so fast. Um, so, yeah. To me, Akira, really good against a flanked enemy. Really good at flanking. Really good at capturing and conquest. Domination's a little harder. Uh, getting a flank on is one thing, but you can't really contest like a defender or maybe even a more defensive attacker like uh, Raketa because you don't have the defensive capabilities. So it's just one of those things that you've got to decide. Is that worth giving up? Do I upgrade to make my tank more effective at that? You know, and we're, we're seven, six. If they track us, we would die five. Okay, we're out of there. It's going to wipe out a ton of enemies there. And uh, we can go back in and take C. Love the maneuvering. Love the speed. Uh, not as ram... Not, not as optimal to ram with, but you can still ram with this sucker. Just not quite as much health. Okay, so we're going to go in and capture. Looks like an enemy is going to contest a fire support enemy, so... We should be able to one versus one this guy quite nicely, but unfortunately, it's an enemy near me. I'm just going to finish off that lower health target. And, you know, very quickly, the follow-up is really satisfying. Remember, one second between shots. So you could really quickly create a huge advantage that, you know, 10 seconds sooner, the uh, player, you know, prior would have been like, oh yeah, this is going to be easy for us, but work one guy down, overinvest my heat in with the first guy, maybe then I dump a bunch of heat into the third guy, and uh, you know, just like that, my team's taking out targets one after another. Good defense, but we weren't focused down, and uh, when we were, we able to disengage, throw smoke out, you know, pop into uh, cover, activate our heal, move on. Couple enemies spawn they will definitely head towards C point yep here here's one here's another love the love the follow-up crits the back-to-back -back. you will crit a lot with Akira I think this is probably one of the best agents to unlock any crit required missions for example uh, definitely follow up because some of the defenders, they, they just are too, I don't know, they're too slow. But they'll just sit there and they'll take round after round after round. I could get like five crits on a single target, potentially. Now, they'd be small crits, 
but there are five individual crits, and if that's the mission condition, well, sign me up, because that's what I'm trying to get. So yeah, I think that Akira is going to be a natural agent that most players pick up uh, because of the uniqueness of the ammo. Now, I do not know if this is an entire tank line in World of Tanks. I just know how Akira works in this, and Akira is very fun to crit hunt with. And you definitely have that, that satisfying smile after getting like two or three crits in a row. I just, even if they're small, it's just like, yeah, you feel that. You're screen shaking. You're not happy, I can tell. We just throw in chaos with all the smoke cloud and the color. I find that chaos works in my favor since I move so fast, and yep, we get another target taken out. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get out of here because Chopper likes lost, to inside. lock us down. Yeah, but you know, it was fun. Fun driving around with Akira. If you liked the video, please like. Leave in the comments what you think of the tank. What do you think of the video? What do you think of me? Um, appreciate any and all, and uh, thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day.